Welcome to TTC Boxing in association with IFL TV and MJ Marbella. Here with me I have Ricky Hatton, legend of British boxing and world boxing. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure. Obviously out promoting the Sergi Ravchenko Anthony Mundine fight. Ravchenko, one of your promising fighters on the growing hand promotion stable. How do you see this fight going? Ravchenko afterwards very highly ranked across a number of boards now. Well, uh, you know, I'd like to think um, Sergei's going to win. I think he's the real deal. You know, uh, he's been like the number one and number two ranked WBC contender for some time now. <clears throat> I think it's just a matter of time. Mayweather has the light middleweight title and the welterweight title. You know, he's going to make his mind up which one he wants. And when you know, which I think it'll be welterweight. You know, and if it's uh, if it's welterweight, that'll leave the title free for, for Sergey. But I mean, he's got Anthony Mundine in front of him. Very experienced fighter. Very very good from world champion. You know what I mean? It's not going to be an easy fight. Make a great fight for Anthony. So. You know, because his career is on the line, that makes him extremely dangerous. You know, and so we we come here to um, we're, we're not taking this lightly by any stretch of the imagination. But Sergey is the real deal. I do believe, and I think he'll I think he'll win by a knockout. Yeah. And um, Mandine coming off the back of you know heavy feet to to party with five knockdowns, and then coming up against Rabchenko, notorious heavy hands. If he was your fighter, would you have put him in against someone like Rabchenko off the back of that fight? Well, you know, Anthony's been in that many uh, big time fights, you know what I mean? He, he, he could warm to it, you know, to be honest with you. But uh, no, I mean, Anthony's had a long career, you know, he's been up and down from different weight divisions and everything, which takes its toll on your body. I should know more than <laughs> more than anyone what ballooning in weight does to you. But um, no, I think, you know, the worst thing that we can do and Sergey can do is look into that fight and think, well, you know, it's a foregone conclusion because it isn't, like you say. His career's on the line and that makes him a very, very dangerous person. If you know that this could be your last fight, if you're going to go up, pull out all the stops, you know, so, so we're expecting it to be a very, very tough fight, but I have faith in Sergei Rabchenko and even though I, I broke a lot of Aussie hearts, I want to beat Kosti Zou, but uh, I think he also made a lot of fans and I think if Sergei beats Anthony Mundine, I think he will break a few Aussie hearts, but I think he'll also make a lot of fans because his style, you can't help but love it, you know. Absolutely, and um, that fight, you know, one of the biggest fights in Australian boxing history, and all gyms around here, people still talk about that as one of the biggest fights they've seen in Australia. And you've kind of kept that relationship going, obviously with Lucas Brown and uh, Hooper and a couple of other young fighters you've got on your stable here. Do you see Australia as almost a market that is, is on the way up? Yeah, very much, very much so. I, I um, Like you say, uh, I have a massive love for Australian boxing because of me win against Kostya Zou, you know, it was the greatest win of my me, me, me career. Um, I did break a few hearts there, but I think people can see the type of guy I am, the type of person and want to try and bring the champions, next champions through for Australia. Big Lucas Brown, who's on the bill as well, you know, first Commonwealth heavyweight champion that Australia's had in 120 years. He's in the top 10 of all the world rankings. Uh, the two Olympian boys, Damien Hooper and Cameron Hammond, they also promote them, they're fighting. Um, they're fighting Saturday, next Saturday, uh, up in Brisbane, so I'm there for that. Um, so yeah, but I, if I do, um, if I do end the career of Ant if I do end the career of another Australian great in Anthony Mundine, uh, what a career we will have ended because I think he's a very unique individual to be. Um, he's a bit of a freak, really, to be successful at the very highest game in rugby and then do the, exactly the same in another sport. Not too many individuals like that come along lately, so I do think we'll end the career of Anthony's, but we will have ended a fantastic one. He's a very unique and very talented individual. You mentioned Lucas Brown, we've uh, had a few interviews with Lucas, great guy to be around, very different outside the ring than he looks inside it. Yeah, he's um, a menacing looking guy, but you know, dead softly spoken, intelligent guy. But I think he can be Australia's heavyweight champion, I really do. Next year's going to be a big year for uh, for Lucas, you know what I mean? He's murderous punchy, he could knock out anyone in the world with that type of power. And um, he's ranked in all the world rankings now, so it's just uh, it's a time for us, for, as his promoter, just to keep a lookout for him. And that opportunity raises its head, we'll take it for Lucas, and I think he'll, uh, I think he'll be an Australian heavyweight champion. Absolutely, and his opponent has never been put on his ass before. Do you think Lucas has got the power to do so, that? Yeah, the first time for everything, Lucas has got the you know, has got the power to put to put anyone on um, anyone on his ass. But you know. I've learned promoting wise, I've learned from the best over the years in Frank Warren and Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy and we were so many great promotions. And it's all about timing promotions, it's to get your fighters in the position, keep them busy like we're doing with Lucas um, you know, on the 11th. And when that opportunity raises, he said for that world title shot, we'll make it for him and I think he'll have that belt round his waist. I see, we look forward to that happening. Thanks a lot for joining us, Ricky, really Pleasure. appreciate your time. No Thanks, mate. Cheers. Cheers.